Hey there. Uh, hype number, number four. This is a quick dive into what are called motion paths. And uh, you may have seen them already. If you've made some of the objects move on screen, they kind of straightforward. Let me see if I can get this centered in here. Uh, so we see more of more of the application. Yes, 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 yeah. All right, there we go. Okay, got an object on the stage. I think I'll go back to the. Uh, oh, there's. I'll go back to the orange. I'm not quite sure. Well, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. So, uh, it's been it's been activated. It's been moved. We have an animation from one side to the other. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of that tumble. I'm just. I'll just select the rotation and nuke it. So now we no longer have things spinning. If you've noticed, you've seen the path, and it looks like a vector path, and it is. It's a vector path, and it indicates the precise movement of that uh, element. If we look closer, closer at it, we'll see the dots are not uniformly spaced out, which means the motion happens quicker where the dots are close together than where they're spaced out. It has to do with the distance in the amount of time, uh, each dot representing a fraction of a second. Now, the reason they like that is because they're given a particular characteristic. The motion has been eased. And if I select that, if I select the, the animation, down here where it says ease in and out, you have a variety of controls specifically related to that path. The motion on that path and right here we see ease in and out now it moves quicker at the beginning and the ending if we chose simply ease in it has a little bit of a quick movement in the beginning let's try that okay we'll just go ease in and see if there's any difference it's a little bit slower at the beginning and faster at the end Let's try again. Let's try another one. There's a couple that are way more uh, dramatic. Let's try the bounce. That's exactly what exactly what we see in that uh, in the diagram here. The bounce can be made even more dramatic. And you can add points to them if you need to. Let's try that. Adding these characteristics are what give your animations life. I'm going to call up Katie's, Katie's, uh, we've seen it before. Katie's logo movement. And I want you to pay attention to the quality of bounce in all of the elements. There's a couple of elements on the stage here that don't belong there. I think in one of the other demos I, I, dra I dragged them over from the resource folder. Let's just move them here and we'll go back to the beginning. So you see they have that gentle little bounce. It gives it life. It makes it a little more natural. And it's all accomplished by applying particular eases to the timelines or to the animations. Let's open this up a little bit and we'll see. Let's see. That's the guy right there. The B. Ease in and out. So she she may have exaggerated this a little bit with the controls down below. It looks a little bit like the histogram in Photoshop. And it might 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 technically be, technically be the same. 
but all of her pieces were given that little bit of bounce and it makes a huge difference in the feel of an animation and truthfully, truthfully the masters of this are able to make things so comfortable to look at that it doesn't bother you that they're trying to sell you something but being able to humanize the act the actions is a real plus for your animations we've all been irritated by gifts that move too fast or animations that move too fast and that all happens in that easing control. Let's see what we've got here. Ease in and ease out. I'll try and I'll try and speed that up a little bit just with the controls here. So that ease in and ease out. What if we do this? What's that gonna look like? way different way different and you have and you've got opportunities to make changes to all of these if you don't like any of them just pull it back to pull it back to instant let's see what that is whoa gesundheit okay Complete controls with the motion pad. Oh, let's look at the motion pads one more time. One more time. I'm going to just simply apply the, the linear here. So it's just going to be a fairly straightforward, even movement. Now I'm going to mess with the motion, the path. As we said before, these are vector objects. I'm going to add some points to it and the handles are familiar to us this is the final colette down here and the motion is exactly what it looks like it's going to loop down and then it's going to loop up and i think i'll take that point and move it up there Easy peasy. The motion pad identifies the movement of the, of the element at the beginning and the end of the animation. All of the dots, all of the points that you put on, they're not reflected in the properties because they're really not changes in animation. Changes to the path are not changes to the element. Anytime you change the element along this path, Say right there, I wanted to change the opacity. Oh, let's see, we would have to record that one because there wasn't any existing, there wasn't any existing opacity, opacity applied to it. Record this, pull it into halfway through, change the opacity down to here, and that's the opacity. So we see under the properties, under the properties menu, three different keyframes for opacity were set. I'll stop the recording, go back to the middle. And in this instance, changes to the elements happen, but not to the path. It's really, really pretty fun to be able to make things move from outside the stage onto the stage. And you can, you can affect that with the motion paths. Highlight the path. I'll bring this up here. Pull this down. Beginning. I'm going to select, and I think I will shrink. I think this guy is in the metrics. Let's see rotation. Now, it's going to stay that big throughout the animation because I did not 
record record that. Remember, changes to the elements have to be recorded. Changes to the paths are not. So I'm going to hit record. Then I'll move this down to the end. And I'll just, I'll say, where's my scale? 100. There we go. Stop recording. Endless, endless, endless. So motion paths are flexible, do not impact elements. Elements are changed in the inspector panel and all of them are animatable. Good stuff. Uh, we'll get farther, farther into it in, into the next, uh, next video. Thanks for watching.